beer me. I, I like beer. love beer. What well, beer is the best though? I, I like beer. Damn. Let's get boozy. Are y'all ready to freaking find out which beer is the most delicious beer in the world? Because today we have the top 10 most popular beers in America. And we are going to see which one is the best. One is best. And 10 is the worst. Let's see who wins in a game of... Have no fear, we're here to try beer. I love beer, I love beer, I love beer. All right guys, we're starting off with Bud Light. It does not get more American than this. Tastes, uh, tastes like an American beer, man. Tastes like Bud Light, man. I mean, it is what it is. I am not a huge Bud Light fan. I am not going to lie. It is not my favorite drink. It's not bad, though. It's not horrible. It's okay. Yeah, it really does have that, like, hoppy grain taste at the end to it, you know? Yeah, um, I don't know. When I have this, I feel like I should wear, like, mini, like, American flag swim shorts and, like, a pool with a floaty, like, doing a pose or something. Yeah. I can't take my eyes off of it. We've been so phenomenally. <laughs> <laughs> I, um, uh, I would give this, personally, I don't know if you guys know this, I'm really bad at getting the numbers right. So this number, what's that number, Jason? That's gonna be a seven. It's a seven, what do you think, Jason? It's uh, up to you, we'll, we'll let you decide. Well, the, since this is the first one on the playing field, I'm okay, I think we should bounce it up to a six, kind of keep it in the middle. That works for me. Bud Light, you're getting a six. Let's do the next beer. <laughs> next beer is the Heineken. This is like your boo, isn't it? Low key my boo, there's a couple of boos over here. Hey. <laughs> Hi. Oh, I, I like I, I like a couple different ones, but I do like this one as well. This is a nice one. Mmm, 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 mm. good. <laughs> so delicious. Uh, this is a very huge change in flavor coming from the. Maybe it's because Heineken's like a Holland beer. It, it does taste way different. Yeah, the, I wonder if it's the... The first flavor is different too. The the Bud Light has more of like a neutral flavor and then you get the hops at the end. Yeah. Where this one has a more of a zing at the front. Yeah. And then it's lighter at the end, right? Totally. It's kind of, it's more musky. It's definitely more musky. It's the Bud Light, like right after. It tastes watery. That tastes way watery. It, like after this, this tastes extremely watery. This is a lot stronger. I mean, it's still a light beer, obviously. It's no Guinness or anything, but it has a lot more like- Oh, those tendencies, yeah. It has a lot more flavor. It has more dimension. Yeah. I don't know, man. I, for me right now, I would give it a this number. A three. A three! What do you think, buddy? Yeah, it's up there on the on the taste. I think the profile of it is a lot more than the, like if you drink this and drink that, that's pretty watery. Super watery, that's why I don't like so Bud Light. So the profile is way more immense than the Bud Light. I want to take it up to the top. Yeah, yeah it lingers with, with you too, the taste. Yeah. So what, what number? Let's take it up to three. Three for the Heineken next. <laughs> next up is the Miller High Life. It's got the same aroma coming off of it as like the Bud Light. When I think of Miller, I think of like Bud Light's cousin. The cheaper version of Bud Light. Is it? I, I don't I don't remember. I bought the but I don't even remember which one was more. I like this more. It has a bigger profile. The can. Look at just, the can's massive. The can is massive. It's for a big boy. Like Shaq would be drinking this shit yeah. right here. That's like a normal can. It's like a 12 ounce can to Shaq. Right? Um, I don't know. I think. The thing is too, I like a little bit stronger taste. For sure. Because if you like a really light taste, you might like a Bud Light. Yeah. This definitely feels like it's lingering on that darker side. Like it, it's got a lot of that flavor. It's definitely profile. not dark, but yeah, like it's stronger. Yeah. Like even this, like I need to see. I actually think I might like the Bud Light a little bit more. That's what I was actually. Did you taste it? Because it, it is stronger than the Bud Light, kind of like the Heineken but it's not like a better stronger. It's not like it's a good flavor. Like yeah. the Heineken has a nice taste to it. Right. This just tastes like a dirty Bud Light. <laughs> like a cheaper version. <laughs> yeah, okay, you're right. What do you want to give this one? Let's take it back to about an eight. Let's give it an eight, folks. Boom. Boom. Ah! Damn, man. 
All right, guys, let's do the next drink. All right, guys, next up is the Stella. This is also one of my booze. I really uh, enjoy Stella. When I was like really drinking a lot of beer in my younger days, cause I'm so damn old now, you know? That, this is one of my top beers that I would drink. Mmm. Come on, that has a nice taste. Yeah, it's it's like super light, like the Bud Light, but it actually has a flavor profile behind it. And it's lighter than the Heineken. I don't even know, actually. I think I might like this more than the Heineken. Yeah, I think it's a lot lighter than the Heineken. The Heineken was the closest one to a dark beer so far, even though these are all lights, but. Um, depending on what you guys like, it's, it's kind of hard, because this one's really good, this one's really good. They're both almost, I think, the same in different ways. Yeah, I just think the Stella's a little bit more refreshing than the Heineken. Really? Yeah, All right, just a little bit lighter. Let's let's move the Stella up and we'll put the Heineken yeah. at that number. What number? Four. Four. All right, next drink. <laughs> next up is the Budweiser, made with rice. I didn't know beer is ever made with rice, man. I thought it was just a hops and stuff, but it's got rice and barley and everything. This is like the Bud Light and Miller Light's uncle. Yeah, older uncle. Older, older, more mature, more, more refined. Old. More refined. Aged. Well, he's got a couple more years until he's not, not what it used to be. <laughs> not what it used to be. Yeah, uh, no, this is really good. It's smooth. I mean, if you go to any bar, they serve this, so. It actually is. You know what's crazy, guys? I've like been so, like, kind of a hater against all of these. And they're not as bad as I remember them, because I haven't had them since forever. Like, because I've been more on like Heineken, Stella, Modelo even, those kind of beers. But it's not bad. I don't mind it at all. No, I really like the Budweiser. Way better than the Bud Light. It is better. It yeah. is actually, it's a lot better. I think it's gonna go up to at least five, or maybe we can move the Stella up to two, and the Heineken up to three, and Bud Light takes fourth, or Bud. I wouldn't go that far. I'd put it right here for now. Give it a good old don't, five. Don't, don't give it too much hope. <laughs> but it is like a good in-between between a Bud Light and a Heineken, yeah. taste-wise. It's not super light, but it's like, it has a little bit of the flavor, but it's not super distinct. All right, folks, next up is the Corona. I didn't like Corona for the longest time. And then like, it was like last year, I just started drinking more Coronas. And actually, because of the fact they came out with like the extra and the Corona like gold, I think, pretty yeah, yeah, the premiere, it's like, yeah. what is it, three carbs, something like that. I mean, it's kind of girly, I know, whatever, guys, but I'm trying to watch my carbs here. Especially when you're drinking 30 of them. Come on, man, but it's good. I really like it, and I don't even know if this is a fair game completely because they did not have one of these uh, as the regular traditional Corona, so I did have to get this one, so it is gonna be a lot lighter. Yeah, but I don't know. The like hardest thing about Coronas is I've had them for so long with limes. They are really good with limes. So drinking a Corona without a lime is kind of like a buzzkill. It's like it needs its, its battle buddy with it. It actually tastes really similar. Yeah? I've never noticed. It's, it's like very similar, no? Wow. It's kind of hard to... Yeah. If you were to like switch these around and stuff... You wouldn't... I wouldn't be able to, yeah. Yeah. I, I don't know. It's up to you. I, I don't care. They're both like fine. Ooh. They're not great. They're just they're fine, you know. Well, let's just kind of leave it where it is then. You can just take it down like that, this. That that works for me. Next beer. <laughs> All right, next up is the Modelo. And I like I said earlier, this is one of my booze. I love me some Modelo. This was when I used to live in Houston. This was one of the other drinks I really enjoyed. It's from Mexico. Um, it's really delicious. That's really light in that profile. It's nice, right? It's like a golden, it's like that perfect roast marshmallow, you know? If you burn it too yeah. much, it's Dude, bitter. I like that, that's good. And it's, um, it's, it's, it's a much more consistent profile. Yeah, I think this is, so far of what we've tried, I think this might be the best. So far of what we tried. I don't know. I really no, like that flavor no, 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 profile, no, man. man. I do too, but the Stella has like this thing about it. Like it's, it. it's really good. It's a completely different flavor. Right. Like this tastes the most different from all of the beers. Yeah. This one, it really stands out and I have no idea how to. If you guys know um, what they do to this, leave it down in the comments down below because I'm curious because it does have a distinct different flavor. I really do think this should keep the highest place as of right now, but I would put Modelo. No, after right re-drinking it, I totally agree. I think we should move Stella up, put Modelo. Yeah, for sure. Okay, so Stella takes two, Modelo goes to number three, and it is time for the next drink.
Next up is the Paps Blue Ribbon. I honestly hate Paps Blue Ribbon. It's like if Bud Light and Miller were related and had a baby, and this would be the Paps, if you know what I'm saying, guys. So it's not my my cup of tea, but let me give it a taste. It's been a while. It's your brother, sister, cousin. Oh, baby. Yeah, it tastes like a brother, sister, cousin. Mmm, <laughs> that's not too bad. They probably brew it with like New Orleans freaking No, no, Katrina it's not water. good. It's really gross. Actually. Yeah. I really don't like that. It tastes like unfiltered water that they brew it with. This is like what I thought Bud Light tasted in my mind before I retasted Bud Light after a couple years. It's a 10. Terrible. Horrible. PBR, you're not the one. All right, let's go to the final round. So you guys are probably wondering, why is it the final round when there's two beer slots left? And well, that's because guys, like every other video, if you've watched my stuff in the past, you know that I gotta f up at least one time and this is it. So sorry for the clickbait, but it's not 10 beers. I guess it's only nine. My bad, but please guys, still hit that subscribe button. Turn on your notification bells. We're doing videos like this every week. Appreciate all the love and support you guys have given us. Let's continue. And my bad. All right, guys, this next one is Sapporo, and I really hope it's gonna be one of the best ones. I've had this a few times. I don't really remember, but the can is like, Fancy. Yeah, man. They put a lot of thought into that can. It looks really good. If we are if we were basing this whole video on the best can, it would be number one 100%. I don't know if you guys, if it's transitioning in the camera, but like, it's really nice. It's like a metal. Mm -hmm. It's it's thick. It's not like a can. Like, this bends. This is thick. It don't bend, man. Yeah, it's a premium beer with a premium container. It's, wow. It's on point. No, it tastes really good. Did you taste it yet? It's really good. Super light, super smooth. Kind of like a thick, foamy flavor to yeah. it. Yeah, no, that has a great taste to it. It's really good, it's really smooth, and it's very consistent. It's almost like a mix of the top three. Yeah. All in one. Yeah. It's really good. I think uh, I think Sapporo for the win. Uh, man, you know what, uh, it's pretty damn good. I think Sapporo for the win. Sapporo, you are the winner. Congratulations. I've never, I've never had this. I didn't even realize that this was a thing until today. You're welcome. And remember, stay boozy. Have no fear, we're here to try beer.